Hey Things is what's up, it's Chris, founder of Thingsa.com and in today's video you're going to learn about the Python bitwise left shift operator. So let's dive right into this operator. Yesterday we have discussed the right shift operator. So in today's video you're going to learn about the left shift operator. And uh, the operator consists of these two smaller symbols, right? So you have, um, if you have only one smaller symbol, then obviously it's a less than operator that uh, works on two integers or two custom objects that actually have defined the Dunder LT uh, method, so the lower than method. Uh, but if you if you use this double symbol, so if you use uh, the lower symbol twice, it actually means bitwise left shift operator. And it as, as a smaller than operator, it has two operands. So sometimes this is really confused by, my, by some people to actually think that this is a smaller than symbol kind of thing. But it actually it's not. It has nothing to do with the smaller, smaller than symbol and I will show you how the operator works in a practical setting right now. So say you have um, the integer value 8 and now you can use the left shift uh, operand and um, uh, and don't confuse this actually with these three symbols that actually indicate that I'm in an interactive Python shell. These three initial prefixed uh, symbols, they have nothing to do with the operator whatsoever, right? So you, you could also use a non-interactive Python shell, in which case those wouldn't even exist, okay? But in this case, so just ignore them for this video. I can even maybe, maybe it would be even more precise if I just just uh, <laughs> get rid of those and uh, so you can you can use the left shift operator and then you you define a number of positions you want to shift this binary number and actually I mean this is what it is really so you have a binary number 8 and um, the and or actually an integer number 8 and this is represented internally in, in memory by Python as a binary number right so as a sequence of zeros and ones so it's a bit string and um, any number is represented as a bit string so therefore you can shift any number any numerical value you can shift by by a position uh, to, the, to the left. In theory, you could actually shift all kinds of data. Like any data is just can be serialized as a stream of bits, which you could left shift um, um, uh, yeah, by one or two positions. And you see, now if I left shift eight, I actually obtain the result 16. So let's left shift another uh, value like 16. I get the result. Uh, okay, now I have lift, left shifted by two positions. So let's left shift it by one position. I get the result 32. So now let's uh, left shift say 42 at uh, uh, 24 um, by one position. 48. Okay, so now you should see a, see a pattern. Okay, so for example, what is the output of this code snippet? If I left shift uh, the integer number 21, I get simply double double this uh, um, original uh, value, uh, double the left operand basically. Um, if I shift by one position to the left, if I shift by two positions to the left, what would what would be the result now? Yeah, we double this again, so we have uh, 84, which is another doubling, right? And if I sh shift by three positions, I double this again, right? So we have 84 times two is 168. Okay, so why is that? Why does any left shift uh, oper operation actually double the the value and the reason is simple. So say we have this uh, left shift operation here on the integer value eight, we will shift by one position. Basically what Python internally does, it transforms this integer values into a binary number. Actually it doesn't need to transform it because it already re represents it as a binary number, but just for conceptual understanding, I, I assume that it transforms the number to a binary. Now we have the binary and the binary now has a bunch of zeros and a one bit, which is set, right? So, and why is this one bit set? This basically represents the integer eight. So we have zero times two to the power of zero plus zero times two to the power of one plus zero times two to the power of two plus one times two to the power of three. Two to the power of three is actually eight. So we have one times eight here. And this is, it's just a binary number representation. And, um, and uh, this is our original uh, number. And now if we left shift this number by one position, we basically fill in at the last position of this number, we fill in a zero bit. That's it. Everything else, if you fill this in, everything else shifts by one position to the left. And this works for positive and for negative numbers, right? And so it's um, even for, for negative numbers, we would still fill in a zero bit. And um, now we use this resulting bit string and transform it back to an integer, which is now 16, right? So actually any position, so the value of any position of the ith position 
um, is exactly twice the value of the i minus one position, right? So for example, if you have uh, two to the power of three here, we have two to the power of four here. So therefore we simply double the output for each one bit that is set, we double its value, which means we double the whole number, right? So we double the value of the whole number. That's why any number you put in, even if it has, even if it has a more complicated bit string. So say we have um, this bit string, right? So this one, basically, if uh, if we would left shift this string, we would take the original string and append uh, another zero here. And basically, what it does now, it uh, it left shifts this. So basically, we we could see. Uh, like maybe represent it like this. Now, now you have previously had zero times two to the power of zero plus one times two to the power of one plus one times two to the power of two and so on. Now we have zero times two to the power of zero plus zero times two to the power of one plus one times two to the power of two plus one times two to the power of three and so on. Okay, so you have now basically each one bit now is one position uh, shifted to the left. So therefore you have doubled its value. So this this one bit value has doubled, this has doubled, this has doubled and so on. So you double all bits. And this, as I said, it works on uh, negative numbers as well. So if you shift by one position, you double it. If you have minus 21, you shift by one position, you double it. If you have minus 21 and you shift by two positions, you double it again, right? So you always double the negative uh, integers, in in integer number um, by the number of times you shift. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next video. Bye.